<laughs> oh, I learned, I learned a long time ago. All right. Never get Kylie cranky. No <laughs> theory. Thanks, guys. So, yeah. Bye. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> uh, good morning and welcome to the morning show. Today, among other things, now, yesterday I was invited on Sunrise as part of the Angel segment to give my opinion, my humble opinion as a mum, on proposed regulations that would protect children from inappropriate forms of punishment while in childcare centres. Now, this is what I had to say, and it's followed by Koshi's reply this morning. Now, these new rules cover separation, isolating little kids, putting them out in a corridor by themselves, having them face a corner. That's what I think is wrong. Again, my opinion. I thought about one of my little boys. He's a sensitive little soul. To send him out of the classroom to a corridor when he was just three would have devastated him. Now, I'm not talking about older kids. I know how tough teachers have it these days. My sister is a teacher. But I'm no namby-pamby, I'm just a mum looking out for her kids. In the last few days, we've seen parents pitted against one another. I believe that should stop. And I believe teachers and parents need to work together. Koshi, maybe colleagues need to, too. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I can hear I Koshi. I had to say it, Koshi. Oh. I had to say it. Oh my God, he's still in he's the there. studio. He's there. He's there. <laughs> Come on, Kylie, dance with the star. Dance with the star. Of course, the star. Of course I'll hug you. Oh. <laughs> Don't give me a hard time about being a mum, that was all. No, no, no I'll give you a hug. <laughs> right, that's it. <laughs> hey, Mamby Pamby boy, what about a hug for me? <laughs> Why are you hugging everyone else? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, it's a love him. It's a love him. All right. OK. Uh, can we move on? Yes, we can. Well done, nicely said. <laughs> Moving on with the show now. Can security have Koshi removed from our studio, please? <laughs> After months of speculation... Our Aussies are known for our hospitality and the role of host is never more satisfying than when putting together a home-cooked meal for a group of friends. That's if you can't order the pizza in. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this dish and uh, <laughs> what is it and what happens? It's a big it, fancy yeah, dish. It's a very... You are cooking mashed potatoes That's for us right. today. But I'm going to tell you, when you're going to try it, it's going to be very difficult for you to okay. try another mash. Let's so I just took the potato out of the water. They're still quite warm. In your pot, so I transferred them into my pot. pot? And I'm going to put a touch of my boiling milk. Very important, the milk is boiling. Right, and I'm what we sorry. say is voila. So voila, bon appétit. Voila. Hey, what do you and think? And tell of... me the last time you tried mash like that. Hey. Mm. I've never tried mash like that. Beautiful. Hey, what do you think of Manu doing dancing with the stars? Frenchman to Frenchman. Oh, it's good for him, yeah. <laughs> One isn't always the loneliest number when it comes to travel, with scores of people choosing to go it alone when holiday time calls. However, finding a good deal that isn't double the price of what it should be can be tricky when you are on your own. 